Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Bio Mutant with me, Bring It Dawn. I did upgrade both of my weapons. I have a new handle on my melee weapon and a new muzzle on my shotgun. Ride? There's a living thing trader right here in Bat Branch. Let's see. And I thought about swapping out my helmet. To one that I found last episode, but I decided against it for right now. Because I really like the one that I have. Aesthetically. And I think the new one has about double the armor of this one. So it might be worth swapping out. Also, look at this heat haze in this area. I wonder if you need to have heat resistance. I mean, we have 100%, so I don't have an issue traversing the area. But I wonder if... This counts as like a hot zone, like the entire area. It'd be weird for it to have the heat haze and it not be considered a hot zone, right? Ah, oh, that wood strap seems like it would be perfect for your bands. Also, now that we've ended the tribal war, I wonder if there's going to be things fighting here. Yep. It's a problem spot. You can smell that hatred all over the place, even after all these years. Hey, nice shot. It's a fresh morning. Maybe find some breakfast. And nothing to it. Did the other cart not have loot laying around it? It didn't. So I can't use the mushroom trick to get across this anymore, so we actually have to go over here and actually traverse the landscape. Just check that strong out. Hold on to that. Okay, that's done. Um, I guess we can go to this tunnel next. To the southeast. Towards the mountain range. What am I stuck on? Really, that, that little rock? I don't know what that e waste was. I have a little ways to go. Remount. Something I forgot to do off camera was go back over here. Uh, where's it at? Over here. Still don't know how to get to this cave right there. But I haven't forgotten about it. Just forgot to go and check when I was going through my gear off camera. After this episode, that'll be what I do. If I remember, I guess. <laughs> Give it a little pat. Go on. Alright, 
250 green doubloons and into this cave. Bang Shelter 9J. No one builds these like Toxin all used to. Let's pocket that. Bye. Time out. Guy blind. Dead. Half dead. I'm completely dead. That guy came out of nowhere and just push kicked me. I was trying to get my Mercury drop to trigger. The one time that I was going to, the guy just came up and kicked me in the back. I don't know. Wow. But it's always these guys that do it, isn't it? These guys are some nasty enemies. Especially when you have to find them in a pair like that. They just. They work so well together. There's an automaton box here. There might be a notice board in this place. But this place isn't connected to that place. Like normally the automaton box is located in the underground area of the uh like the location that has the notice board. There's just a random automaton box sitting in this spang shelter. Maybe not much to eat around here, though. Huh, it's weird. I think one thing they could add to this game, since there is a... Heads up. Well, one, you have so many seeds you can find. Home of the notorious Lobo. Maybe have like legendary mounts. I Man, I know there's unique mounts you can find in like fortresses and story related or quest related mounts. But like, say the one that I have right now, this guy. Like, maybe you could find like a legendary version of him. And the Cluffy Dunes where you can, where you find the rest of his kind. Like, each region could have its own unique legendary mount you could hunt down and. Yeah, here's the notice board. What a mess that notice board is. So many hopes lost, all long forgotten. People flew. Back down there.
It's still weird because it's not part of the other area. We have to come all the way back down here to grab this. Okay, well that was worth it. <laughs> That's an upgrade. The one that we currently have. I don't see me changing that out. <laughs> it's fantastic. Alright, where is... There's way to climb out of here, wasn't there? I thought there was a rope in here. Maybe I'm misremembering. I didn't take it last time because I forgot about it. Or I'm losing my mind. Alright, maybe it's not a rope. Yeah, I think I have... I don't know why I thought there was a rope I could climb up out the top. Where are the control sticks on this thing? All right, something about a blimp and what's her name, Lobo, or his name? It's in DC. Lobo is a guy. Quite the anti-hero. Let's see. I don't think there's any loot to find here. That's interesting. Well, I guess if it's an NPC location, that makes sense. Lama, parip, no mandipa. My story. Azamito Deepika. Azamito Deepika. Bakabamba Gunde. Zuale Bakungu. Duma Laka Gugu. Yeah, I'm ready to forgive now that he's dead. Zamak <laughs> cookie. Kapete? Zuale bat kungu. Zamak cookie. Where can I find it? Dika. Yeah, I've already found the dog. So we've already, uh. What is that? I think it's a melee weapon, I can't tell. I'll take that, thank you. Someone has to end this plague before it's too late. Alright, so we probably fast travel somewhere close to the Sparkatorium. But we've already cleared that out, we've already turned on the dog. So we can't fast travel to it. But we get a Punchy's place. That's something. So I think what I will do is I'll try to invite her onto the Ark, and if she rejects the invite, I'll invite uh, Honky, the merchant. I don't remember how many seats I have left. I think I still have two seats. So I can also invite Wiz from the main quest. I'll invite Honky if he if he accepts, mostly because of the way he uh he looks. He's got a very very cool outfit. I guess there's also um the haircut guy. That gnarly mustache. Wow, wow, wow. faster than us and I'm trying to shoot him. I mean, shooting is efficient in the sense that I don't take damage and it's very safe to do, but it would have taken, what, six more or seven more shots to kill him versus the two that it took with my, 
my sword. Well, I guess it's a hammer, isn't it? Kind of bad killing all those guys. Just I feel like they're the, like a little group of friends on their own adventure. Wait, did I grab that shrine last time? I don't think that I did. Fighting these enemy types. Strength, You've of course. Out. Don't think I've ever put points in anything else going forward. A reason to. That I can think of. I think we're done with all of... Oh, wait. I guess I'm going to grab that. Anyway, did I grab this rod last time I was here? I don't think I did. It's not glowing. She's way past this. For a oh, that's reason. right. It's up to you to figure out what that is. Up we go. I'm hoping I can just fast travel back. No, I actually have to lead it to Lobo. Because no one likes, uh, Escort quests. Caddy. There we go. Wallakabo. Heck, if I invite her, maybe she'll bring uh, the Franken dog along with her. Alamakum. Tupala Bakdipi. Pack. Hold on. Uh, is that a backpack? Speaking of, I might get rid of these, I think. It's got decent stats, too. So, does it allow me to fly? Oh my goodness, it does. Or at least glide a bit. <laughs> Uh, what kind of vessel? Alright, so we gotta hunt down a ship. I guess an anchor is what we're after. But look at this! I mean, it doesn't look as cool as my other thing, but... I mean, it's got utility. 
That's neat. All right, where are we going? All the way over there. All right, so we'll work our way there slowly. I'm not gonna rush there. So we gotta remain methodical in our exploration. We're in the final stretch. We don't wanna miss anything. There are tough times ahead, no matter where you go. Just don't get served hot meals in a munch house like that anymore. At least my Mercury drop kills just about everything that we did. Oh. You have to admire a piece like this. That's two down. Yeah, I have to swap out this backpack. I just I don't like the way that it looks. My current setup. If I ever need it, I know that I have it. You need to align the knobs so that they match. So I'm assuming we get a big joystick, probably a crushing weapon for finishing those. I feel like most of these uh, gadget side quests give us crushing weapons. Not a bad thing, just just an observation. In fact, I say it's a good thing considering I think I still think the best weapon in the game is that sword that we had or have. I think I actually dismantled the the handle for it. I still have the blade. All right, we go to this warehouse region. I'm gonna save this probably for next episode since I know that those can take a while. So yeah, we can hit up this place and then go grab Good that anchor. Good ride long. Tell it, no biting. Some rubber scrap got uncovered over there. Warehouse area, yep, right here to the right. That brick rack might be stripped, but no one strips places like you. Only four superb loops. It's a pretty big area. I'm assuming that they're all in this center area. Or this big building. Guy real fast. This is gonna be a nuisance. I was trying to shoot that darn barrel. Not that it does any damage, but it staggers him. Try heal up. Oh, heal up real fast. So it doesn't like radiation just stuns. So freeze, or cold damage freezes, fire damage causes them to panic and run. Uh, fire hazard damage makes them throw up. Radiation stuns them, or confuses them or something. You see like the purple lines from around their head. I'm assuming that shock damage stuns them. Or paralyzes them or something. Whatever they want to call it. Hey. 
Every right, day, there's the totem. everything seems like it happens at once. Hey, you could probably make something glossy with plastic scrap. All right, so this is one of those areas where you need to keep your eyes open for a door that you can pry open. At least that's the feeling that I'm getting. Okay, let's go up here and climb these stairs. Assume that everything's at the top for right now. Oh, here we go. It's a very good chest, but it's not... Uh... Not what we were after. Worth a shot. Of course. There's what four? Four or five chests that have done that to me now. Just leave me along and rip out my heart. You're tired. Maybe find a place to rest. So we came all the way up here. That was even superb loot. Huh. All right, so it's got to be just laying around inside these buildings. I guess we'll check out each one. Oh, there's a billboard. Let's uh, float down to it. Huh. Would have been a, that would have been a good billboard to have superb loot on. Well, I might just throw in an edit here and find the other three. So I still want to go grab that anchor for Lobo uh, this episode. So I'll be right back. All right, so I think I found all of them. Uh, there is a dirt pile right here. This one took me forever to find. Had no idea it was right there. There's another dirt pile over here, but there's also a cabinet beside it. These didn't take me long to find. If this is even superb loot, I don't... Okay, it is. If it wasn't, then I don't know where else it would have been, because, it's, again, it took me ages to find the one up there. By ages, I mean, like, I don't know, 10 or 15 minutes. All right, let's go grab the sinker. For Lobo. Then we can wrap up the episode. Well, we'll go turn it into her as well. We'll save that cave for next time. I'm going to grab that resource totem outside of it. Look at that metal scrap over there. Nice view.
Turn the notes to raise the tie down and stop it from falling. That's good. Now better head back to Lobo and get that weight off your shoulders. That would be pretty sweet if I could use that as a weapon. Right, before we continue, there's though. a lot on the line here. One well, bet the other one is in this direction. Perfect. And then we will check up here real fast. Let's get the old peak C and there's a seed, I'm not worried about it. Alright. Back to Lobo, turn this in. Call it after that, and then just continue exploring next time. I'm assuming this is the last quest we have to do for her since it's the I think she said it was the last part she needed for the bloom. Which I assume we unlock and can fly, right? You have access to the gold blimp. You can only use the gold blimp over the cluppy dunes where the winds are strong enough to carry you. Use this anchor to get on and off and the ordinary movement controls to fly. Well, sweet. I'm going to call it here. In the next episode, we'll continue exploring with the gold blimp. It's really cool. Yeah, we still, about ha or still have about half of the cluppy dunes to explore. Then we can finally go talk to Wiz and wrap it up. Making good progress. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.